In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an ePortfolio in Google Sites. So, the first thing you want to do, you want to come to sites.google.com, and then over here, you're going to see a bunch of different options. Now, you want to click on the blank site over here to actually get a blank template. Once you're inside your template or inside your Google site over here, there, there is where you can actually start creating your ePortfolio inside Google Sites. So here you want to go ahead, edit this and type in my ePortfolio. There we go, like this. And then what you can also do is enter your site name and then, for example, your name's ePortfolio. So you can just do, for example, John's portfolio okay or something like this so whatever you want to do now over here you can then also basically set this header as a different one so if you want it to be anything different than that you can do header type and you can either do a cover you can do a large banner a banner a title only in case that's what you prefer and of course you can also set your own image you can upload it select it whatever so you can do whatever with this you can stylize this any way you would actually like okay so this is the first thing you should do while you are creating your ePortfolio using Google Sites. Now, once you have this kind of introduction over here, you can of course play around with this. You can click on this image, you can go to themes, you can select different colors, you can select different fonts, different things, and over here, of course, you can create your own themes as well or upload them in case that's what you want to do. Once you've done this first part, then what you want to go ahead and do is basically insert different pages that an ePortfolio usually has. Now, of course, it's up to you what you do over here, but usually it's going to have something like the homepage and then the vision, resume and products or whatever you want to add. And the way to add this is actually fairly simple. You want to navigate the pages over here, click on the plus button and then click on where it says new page over here. So this will turn into that. Click on that and then just name the first new page. So for example, a vision. OK, this is usually one of them. You can even go to the advanced if you want a custom path, but that's not for now. And then you want to click on done. As you can see, a new tab has now been added up here and you can also add a new one. For example, make it resume. There we go. Resume done and then you can also do for example products or whatever you want to do products there we go and then click done so as you can see you now have different separate tabs this is going to be kind of your navigation bar up here and then you can just start customizing so you can do whatever you can go to vision over here and then you can select what header you like so for example over here we're simply going to have a banner and then you can go to insert you can insert in a text box you can make it bigger or smaller you can select the font the size etc and you can just type in whatever you want to do when it comes to your vision okay so here you can also add in different content blocks you can add in different images you can select or upload you can embed your custom code in case you're into that or just link any of your Google Drive documents you have on there. You can also add in different content blocks, as you can see, so you can kind of put images side by side or like text at the bottom, text next to it, whatever you want to do. There's a bunch of different ones and you can even do image carousels, buttons, dividers, etc. So there's a bunch of things you can do. This is, of course, up to you for you to customize. Then. Once you're done with this one, you simply want to go to the resume one and you want to do the exact same thing for your resume. You want to put in your resume and then for the products as well. And then once you've done this, you have two different options, which you can do to actually share this, share this with, uh, for example, your teacher or whoever you want to share this with. So the first way is you can just go ahead and click on this plus icon up here. And in here, you'll be able to add your teacher's email. So for example, you can add in your teacher's email and then you can give them basically restricted, uh, basically uh, access where they can just go over here and anyone with the link can either just basically see it or basically edit that as well. That's the first way you can do this. But the simplest way I do think is you can just click on publish up here. And then here where it says web address, you want to make something up. So for example, John's portfolio or something like that. See, that's already taken. So you can do like one, two, three or one or whatever you want to do. And then when the check mark appears, it means the name is available. Once you do this here, you can also do that. You request the public search engines not to display your site. So not anyone can find it if they don't have the link. And then once you do that, you simply want to click on publish. However, you must know that anyone that will have this link, so the link that we have up here, will be able to actually see this. OK, so let me actually go ahead over here. If I go to publish settings, 
you can see this is going to be your link to your site and then you can just send this to your for example teacher or whoever you are sending this to so if i go over here you'll see that this is my portfolio over here and there's all the things we've added in in the editing section inside Google Sites. Now, as I said, this is visible to anyone so anyone can access it. So in case your information is very private, you can just share it with the person you would like to share it with and you'll be good to go. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.